Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you my six favorite natural remedies to relieve a headache or get rid of a headache or migraines and they work really fast. Um, when you're pregnant, the, well, actually these things I'm gonna give you are safe for when you're pregnant too, so you can do all of these. Um, but when you are pregnant, a lot of women do get migraines and headaches, or um, just if you're stressed or you're working a lot or something and you just get headaches and migraines all the time, these tips are gonna be awesome for you. Um, but these are definitely what I did when I was pregnant as I did get a ton of headaches and migraines and um, they really, really helped. So before I just quickly give you the tips, a lot of people will take like a Tylenol or an Advil and that is so damaging to the body, it really is. Um, so I recommend at least giving these a go um, some of these or all of them and see if these help before you go and take those painkillers because they like I said They're so damaging and really there's just full of chemicals um, Okay, so my top tip is magnesium. So oh little girls awake um, So my top tip is magnesium Everybody has almost everybody obviously has very low levels of magnesium just because like it's it's hard to get into your system and um, most people are deficient in it so there's a couple ways that you can take magnesium. Um, basically, you can spray. I have a magnesium spray. It's like a magnesium oil. And you just spray it on and kind of rub it into like your um, anywhere where there's like a lot of blood flow. So um, behind your knees, armpits. I do over here. I do my top, tops of my feet, lower abdomen. Just spray it. And like I would say spray yourself like 16 times a day. Um, you need magnesium in your body, um, 100%. Um, you could take a magnesium pill, which I feel like it doesn't absorb as quickly, so you're not getting as much of it or the benefits of it. And if you have leaky gut or something, um, you might not even be absorbing it properly or digesting it properly. Um, so I would recommend a spray, but there are, like I said, there are several ways you can get magnesium. Another way is, um, and it kind of helps with migraines too, is just taking a hot bath and putting Epsom salts in there. So you're gonna get the magnesium through the bath, but you also will be relaxing, which might help your headache as well. Um, um, so if you don't want to spray and you don't want to, um, you know, take a pill of magnesium, then maybe try the Epsom salt bath. My second tip, and it works 100% for me, and I do this on my kids, and especially when they're sick, and they it works because they obviously, well, to me it does because they stop crying, so I take that as an obvious sign. But um, peppermint and lavender oil, so essential oil. So um, get a good quality one. Uh, make sure it's pure and not like it doesn't have fillers or anything like that in it. Um, and basically peppermint oil is cooling for the skin and um, lavender is a mood stabilizer So what I would like to do what I usually do is like combine both of them and on the kids I'll mix it with a carrier oil maybe like coconut or grapeseed and you can rub it um, Basically like your temples your forehead the backs of your neck behind your ears um, Just in those spots like that and I just kind of rub it and massage it in if you don't mind like the strong smell of the lavender and the peppermint for adults i would say don't even use a carrier oil just put the actual peppermint and lavender on your fingers and just rub it in everywhere um and yeah and it really does help us anyway so i would definitely give it a go and um i mean the worst that happens is it doesn't work right um it won't hurt you in any way so maybe give it a try before you go try like tylenols or something if you are looking for like a more natural remedy um the third one is probably the very very top of my list but I didn't say it first just because I know a lot of people can't afford it or don't have access to one maybe um, but a chiropractor um, chiropractor and posture is my third tip together um, chiropractor almost everybody that I see has very bad posture though and I do too like slunched over all the time um, we're just like sitting at a computer desk our necks are down looking at our phone all the time so we're basically losing the natural curve in our spine and when that happens um, the signals going from your brain to like the rest of your body is, is, is being pinched your spine doesn't have enough fluid and it's all completely out of whack that it's not sending the um what am I, what's what i'm looking for it's not sending the signals to the rest of your body properly i'm not like i don't know all the proper terms because i'm not a chiropractor but it's just from what my chiropractor told me and from my own research but um so when that happens um it creates pain that's how your body just kind of um like lets you know something's wrong is through pain so what happens when you go to a chiropractor is they will slowly start to get the curvature, proper curvature back in your spine. Your head should be 
more like this. Another kid's crying, but your head should be more like this rather than down like this all the time. So by working on you and working on your posture, they'll have your shoulders back, they'll have your head be more forward, so you will have it that natural curve coming back into your spine and signals will be able to flow properly and you it will help relieve headaches. Now my husband and I have both gone to a chiropractor for a long time and we love it. Um, we currently stop just because of funds, but we will be returning um, once we save a little bit of money again and we 100% notice a difference not only in our headaches and stuff, but in our mood, in the rest of our body, in our cramping, in our digestive issues, just everything. So I would recommend it. If you can't afford a chiropractor or you don't want to go, just try working on your posture. If you have a migraine, just put your phone down, do whatever. Just sit, put your shoulders back, put your head forward, maybe stretch. Just try and get good posture. Um, and that probably will help at least a little bit. Um, so give it a go. The fourth one is taking B complex vitamins. And I just keep looking down because I wrote my favorites on the list here. So that's why. So yeah, so number four is, is B complex vitamins, which is basically um, B complex vitamins are used in the formation of neurotransmitters. So if you're lacking, which a lot of people are, again, because our diets are so bad. And even if you're having a very good, healthy diet, a lot of the time, like our soil is depleted. Everything's so depleted that we just are not getting it properly in our food. And then if we are getting it in our food, if we have great food sources and we are consuming it, maybe our, we have digestive issues or we're not absorbing it properly. So we really need to supplement. I recommend anyways. Um, and I do. So b comics vitamins is basically like thiamine, riboflavin, folate, vitamin B6, vitamin B12. Okay, basically all of those together. And... Um, I notice it helps a lot, so I would take it especially for women. Um, we do need a little bit more, especially if you're pregnant, you need the folate and all that. So um, yeah, definitely take a B complex vitamin. And um, like, what happens is if I have a migraine and I take a B complex vitamin, it might not get rid of the migraine right away. But if I take the complex, like the, the vitamins, over a longer period of time, I would say a couple weeks, I will notice that I get less headaches at all, or, at all or none even. So um, yeah, give it a go. Number five is water, um, 100%. Again, a lot of people are dehydrated. If you can drink like two liters a day as a woman, men should be around three or four, um, then you're doing great. But if you're drinking under that, you are 100% dehydrated. Um, there are so many symptoms of dehydration, which you can just Google yourself, but your entire body is mostly water. But most importantly, your brain, your brain is mostly water, water and fat. And if you don't have enough water, your brain is gonna be suffering. And as a result, you will get um, headaches and migraines. Um, so I would say drink water, like a ton of water. Um, if you have a migraine, chug maybe three cups, okay? Or more, depending on how much you're drinking during the day. And you will notice it helps. You will notice a difference. And over a long period of time, if you just drink every single day, try and get at least two liters in, your migraines will kind of start diminishing or not be as intense and all that. Um, so I really recommend drinking water. Drink a good water. Don't drink anything acidic. Drink an alkaline water. Um, that's what your brain needs. So definitely do that. If you're not, not a water drinker, try infusing it with strawberries, which are antiox um, full of antioxidants, blueberries, which are full of antioxidants. It'll flavor your water and it'll be like really healthy. Um, or another option is just have veggies, like veggies that have, have high water content, like um, cucumbers, um, what is it, celery, things like that. Those are like packed full of water, so that's good. So do that. Um, and my last and Last tip is number six, and it's stretching and moving. So if you have a headache, you need to stretch. You need to get blood flowing through your whole body. You need, you know, all the signals from your brain going down through your spine to the rest of your body to be working properly. So stretch and move. And a lot of times you just get a headache from being very sedentary all the time. So especially if you have like a desk job or you're sitting down a lot as a mom, um, you know, nursing or something. So getting up and moving will just get blood flowing and it will really help with the migraines. Those are my top six tips. There are loads more of natural remedies and things you can buy and herbs and things and supplements you can take. Um, these were just my personal favorite and I feel like the ones that work the best out of all of them. Um, so yeah, these are my favorite, but if you have tried different ones, um, like something that I haven't said and they worked for you, comment below and let me know. I would love to know um, what you guys are doing for your natural um, headache remedies. But yeah, this is what I got. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I need to go attend to the kids now because you can probably hear them crying. Um, but yes, I will see you in my next video. Bye.